Thank you for visiting our YouTube site. Hello, I'm Russell Ratton, Company Director and Surveyor for Dryfish Preservation Limited, Yorkshire's leading damp and timber specialist. This thermal imaging video clip of a boiling kettle has been set up to give a good visual representation of the heat transfer from the heating element of a kettle to the water and materials used in the kettle's construction. It is intended to give a brief introduction to thermal imaging and the potential uses of thermography in our industry. This video features a plastic kettle with cold or standing water within it. When the kettle is switched on, the heating element proceeds to heat up the water at a boiling point 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit in old money. As the water and kettle materials increase in temperature, this heat signature is picked up and recorded by the thermal imaging camera. Contrary to the belief, thermal imaging is not like having X-ray vision, nor does this allow you to see through things. Thermal imaging simply allows you to see temperature of surfaces. Our eyes are detectors and represent the world as we see as colours, but our eyes only detect a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum known as visible light or radiation. There are, however, other wavelengths or parts of the spectrum that are invisible to our eyes, such as infrared. Thermal imaging is the ability to see and capture radiation from the infrared, infrared light spectrum. All objects above absolute zero temperature, which is minus 273 degrees centigrade, emit radiation in proportion to their temperature. The warmth we feel from a fire, sunlight or radiator is invisible to our eyes, although it can be seen through a thermal imaging camera. So basically, thermal imaging is seeing heat. Thermal imaging cameras are specifically designed to see and capture infrared radiation waves and display them as a visual image on a screen. When displayed, temperature differences are visible as warm objects stand out against cooler objects or background. This is seen as the kettle's colour changes from black representing a cold surface or to yellow to white representing a high or warm surface temperatures. So why is thermal imaging useful on a building survey? Temperature differences occur within buildings due to many reasons, such as heat loss, poor thermal conductivity, air intrusion, plumbing leaks, or water damage. A thermal imaging camera visually displays the surface temperatures of building components and fabrics, allowing often invisible or hidden defects to become apparent, enabling us to correctly identify problems or predict where problems may occur in order to provide appropriate repair or preventative action. If you suspect a problem and require a survey, or need free advice, please don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website at www.trifix.net. Thank you for watching.